fruit bats welcome to another episode so today's video is on portlandia making fun of me yes i'm so upset about this portlandia made fun of me <laughs> oh, i'm just kidding hey fruit bats welcome to the live stream welcome live stream team checking in and to those of you um, after this video, make sure you actually, you know, go to my, my next video and you press the, um, the reminder of my next live stream so you can turn up too. So we are going to watch this video. This is a spoof that Portlandia did on the Banana Girl diet, okay? So I think I started to watch it and I thought it was quite funny, but I wanted you guys to also like watch it with me so we could watch it together and I thought it'd be really, really fun. So what is Portlandia? Okay, Portlandia is a TV series. It's a sketch comedy television series set and filmed in and around Portland, Oregon, starring Fred Armisen and Carrie Brown Brownstein. That's what we're going to watch today. But firstly, I want you guys in the comments to write how many bananas you eat a day. Okay. In the comments, in the live fruit bat chat, I'm not sure if you can see me yet. Hey, um, write it in the chat and also write it in the comments below. Let's get into it. This is a post I actually put on Twitter, banana diet, 71 bananas a day. All right, I am excited. Let's check this out. The, the sound on this when I started it was not that good, but it gets a little bit better, so bear with me. Let's watch it. I'm Quincy, so I've been getting a lot of questions on my website uh, about how... I can't turn it up any louder, so sorry, guys. I get this body. Well, let me tell you. I eat bananas. Banana. Banana. Yeah. Banana. Oh what I do God. is I eat about... 71 bananas a day. Beautiful. Show me your abs. <laughs> I am telling you, I didn't always look like this. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. This is easy to make. All you have to do is buy bananas and peel them, right? Everyone knows how to do that. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Hey, guys, you ate a lot of bananas in the live stream chat. Well done. Oh, my God, I think I saw 15 there. Good job, Sarah Parrish. Okay, day one. Oh, dear. <sighs> Hey, we're getting pizza. You in? Oh, no, thanks. I got my bananas. Those be good for your abs. Well, good for you. Thanks. <laughs> Ted? Yeah? What's the longest you've ever gone without making a... Number two? Uh, uh, 10, 12 hours, maybe? Why? I want to issue a retraction oh. on the banana diet. Anyone oh my God. at all is following it. Please stop immediately. <laughs> I just got out of the hospital. Uh, I basically had a potassium plug in my colon. Oh, the God. The evacuation <laughs> process was very loud. And uh, I wish, in retrospect, that I had a more soundproof bathroom. Oh, my God. Firstly, what are they talking about? Oh my God. So she's saying she's constipated on the banana diet. Basically anybody who knows like who eats enough bananas, enough fruit fiber knows that you're anything but constipated. You do not get constipated, but if you're having green, yellow bananas, then yes, you might get constipated, but that's not the fault of the bananas. That's your fault for not eating them when they're ripe and spotty. This is funny so far. Uh, because, uh, you know, I'm just a very private person and just <laughs> part of all my coworkers. Uh, and being able to hear yeah. my farts. Yeah. <laughs> Squirts. Flappers. What? Flippers. Flippers. Yeah. How did you hear of take a shh? Well, I've mm. been on a banana diet um, for about nine straight days now. We have worked with a lot of people on this diet. Bananas? Oh, yes. We just did a private plane. Wonderful. <laughs> The sound is going to be very difficult to hold in, especially with the a private plane. A wooden door like this with slats. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing we want to attack. <laughs> See, if I'm a sound wave, I'm just going to go to that cubicle. I don't care. Just go wherever I like. And it hovers. <laughs> oh, this is good. Can you hear me? Not now. No, not now. <laughs> wow. This is gold. Yeah. Who's paying for this? Me. No, I, that just seems unfair. I, Everybody I here. Can. Would you mind chipping in maybe $20, $50, because Miss Pouts here, Platts? Platts here, <laughs> wants to be private and keep the sound coming out of this bathroom. I'm going to step inside. Guys, everyone, it's not fair for her to pay for the whole thing just because she went on a banana diet. This is great. This is great. <laughs> oh, this is gold. 
load. <laughs> Yay, and oh, you're God. beautiful. Oh my gosh, that was good. That was funny. No, Seriously. I think um, the impersonation and banana, banana. I think that that impersonation was pretty pretty realistic. Pretty realistic. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Portlandia is making fun of me. I think it was great. I'm just amazed that they actually gave me attention. They actually like found the banana girl diet. Found, found me on YouTube and made this spoof. I think it's great, but we've got like this whole like farting a lot. Actually, when I was on a totally raw food diet lifestyle, I wasn't farting at all. Occasionally on Raw to Fart 4, I do a fart because there is some cooked food in there and the fibers mix together and they digest at different rates. But when you are on like a solely fruit, raw fruits and vegetables diet, you don't actually fart at all. So it's a really bad representation of the lifestyle, but I understand they don't know and they're trying to make fun of it and I think it was fun anyway but I want to go quickly what did you guys think in the chat I have well what's this it's funny because it's so true Jeff it is not true it is not true okay this is not actually true you don't fart a lot love you freely love you Belle this is hilarious I think it's hilarious too it's really really good this is so rude I don't know now it's not really that rude it's not that bad Go Bananas, Chris Mo. It, it's just they're trying to make fun of it and they were pretty funny. So I want to go to how much fruit is too much fruit. And this is some research which Dr. Gregor has brought to YouTube. So I want to show you guys this research and I want you to learn a little bit more about eating quantity of fruit. And it's actually backing up raw till four. It's some science backing up raw till four. So let's watch it now. Okay. 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 Fruit, on the other hand, is beneficial in almost any amount. What do they mean by almost? Fruit is beneficial in almost any amount. What do they mean by almost? Can we eat 10 fruit a day? How about 20 fruit a day? It's actually been put to the test. 17 people were made to eat 20 servings a day of fruit. Despite the extraordinarily high fructose content of their diet, presumably about 200 grams a day, eight cans of soda worth, the investigators reported no adverse effects, possible benefit actually, for body weight, blood pressure, and insulin, and lipid levels uh, fats in the blood after three to six months. Okay, that was 20 pieces. This sounds a little bit like raw till four so far. More recently, Jenkins and colleagues put people on about a 20 servings of fruit a day diet for a few weeks and no adverse effects on weight or blood pressure or triglycerides and an astounding 38-point drop in LDL cholesterol. Mm. There was one side effect, though. Given the 44 servings of vegetables they had on top of all that fruit... Look at that. This is 63 servings. Sorry. This is um, fruits and vegetables, 63 servings per day, two and a half thousand calorie diet. It does sound like raw till four, right? So what is the benefit? Dr. Greg is about to tell us one of the many benefits. They recorded the largest bowel movements apparently ever documented in a dietary intervention. Massive poops, okay, massive poops on this lifestyle. And that is a good thing. Who wants it in the colon? You want it out of the colon. It is poop. You want the poop out. You don't want it to be sitting there for potentially weeks, which is what happens when um, you eat meat and dairy. Potentially, you can be up to you know a couple of weeks digesting a piece of meat, and that is decomposing and it is rotting in the colon. And that is gross, my friends. Okay, that is actually contributing a lot to disease. You know, disease mostly starts in the colon. So you've got to keep the colon efficient, and you want the colon to be moving. And that's why high fiber raw food and raw vegan lifestyle and um, high carb vegan lifestyle is the best for your colon and the best for avoiding disease and keeping that colon really, really healthy. So that's the end of that. Whoa. Check out nutritionfacts.org. Okay, so you want a healthy colon. You don't want to be, you don't want to be scared of eating a lot of fruits and vegetables. It is super, super healthy for you. There is one example. There's some science showing they did an actual study on it and they showed 68 pieces, so much fruits and vegetables. It's basically raw to four and it showed it's super, super healthy. So 
The number one dietary risk factor is not eating enough fruit. The number one dietary risk factor in developing disease, in people dying, is not eating enough fruit. So the Global Burden of Disease Study, you guys can look it up, studied and published in 2012, is the most comprehensive and systematic analysis of causes of death undertaken to date. The most comprehensive and systematic analysis of causes of death undertaken. Okay, basically in history, involving nearly 500 researchers from more than 300 institutions in 50 countries, and starting with almost 100,000 data sources. What did the researchers find? Here in the U US, there in the US, they determine who is here from the USA. Tell us in the, if you're here from the USA, where it, what time it is, and um, what part of the USA it is. Okay, so let's go back to here. US, they determined the biggest killer was our diet. Number one on their list of the most important dietary risks was not eating enough fruit responsible for an, all, an estimated 4.9 million deaths a year around the world. Not eating enough fruit, guys. According to this, if Americans ate just one more serving of fruits and vegetables per day, this would save more than 30,000 lives and 5 billion in medical costs each year. 5 billion. One antidote for individuals is easy, painless, and even pleasurable. Exploit the multiple nutritional and protective benefits of fruits and veggies. What more do I need to say? You know, you look up fruits, fruit fiber benefits and you come up with so many studies. Health benefits of fruits and veggies, benefits of fruits and vegetable intake, health benefits of dietary fiber, effects of dietary fiber and components of metabolic health, fiber, health benefits. There is so, so much stuff. So I just want people to educate themselves. And I thought this was fun. It was a bit of a spoof and everything like that. But unfortunately, it does put out to the public. It just kind of like furthers this idea that fruit is just bad for your colon. It's going to make you poo all the time or not poo enough and have explosive farts and stuff like that. It's not true. It actually supports amazing health. And I've been living this lifestyle. I've been having so many bananas for over a decade now for nearly 11 years. Thank you, Jesse M for the two pounds. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so I've been doing this for over a decade. I've got my blood tests up. A lot of these people, a lot of people who write off my lifestyle, they don't put up their blood tests. Ask them to put their blood tests up. Okay. Have they kept the weight off for years and years like I have myself? Are they the shining example of their lifestyle? Are they 37 or are they teens or are they in their early 20s? Remember that. I've been at this a long time. I've seen a lot and I've helped a lot of people overcome eating disorders and just become their best. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that and to remember that fruits and vegetables, they rock. Don't worry about having like too much fruit. You can eat as much fruit as you care for. All right, guys, I just wanted to react to that. Now I'm going to go to the chat. I'm going to talk to you fruit bats in the chat. We can play this in the background just for something to look at because we want to look at this face again, don't we? We want to look at, hang on. We, <laughs> we want to look at this face again. Yes, yeah, that one. All right. Okay, let's go. Let's go here. Brittany, Brittany, $10. Thank you for the $10, my friend. Appreciate that. Thank you. Some people have been saying, oh, you know, Freely is like asking for donations. She's a millionaire. She's this and that. Let me tell you, I am nowhere near a millionaire. And there's a lot of trolls on the internet who want to make my life hell by lying about me constantly. Please ignore them. Please realize that they are actually just being haters and they're trying to bring me down and they'll say whatever. They'll say whatever to try and make me look like a bad person. I'm not asking for donations. I appreciate it. Like people like, oh, look at the way she thanks people. It's like, what do you want me to do? I am, I am grateful for the donation. So I'm obviously going to be happy because I'm happy. You know, people will just criticize anything. So just please don't believe the haters. Don't believe them. Thank you, Brittany. I appreciate that. Hey, Freely. Hey, Zoppy. Hey, Sarah Bate. I love you so much, Freely. I hope someday we can meet up in the... Up the amazing work. Meet, no, keep up the amazing work. I, I think we will one day, Sarah. We will come together. We will all come together. Um, how, how did you come about this lifestyle? Gracie asked. I found this lifestyle, damn, a long time ago. So it was basically, I mean, there's a few ways that I came to this lifestyle. One was I had a yoga teacher 
who was eating a lot of raw food and she was vegan and she was glowing and she was like inspirational. And I'm like, man, I want to have what she's having. Basically, I want the results that she's having. So I questioned her. She told me to get a juicer. I got a juicer and I got this living foods recipe book, which I still have to this day. I got this back in 2000 and one or something like that, but it had raw meat. It had raw meat in the book, in this raw food book. And I'm like, damn, that's like, I don't know about that because even though I wasn't vegan at the time, I was like raw meat, uh, you know, I shouldn't have felt like that because I was eating meat and we're meant to eat it raw if we're really meant to eat it. But anyway, that's a whole other subject. Got this recipe book, tried to do raw vegan, couldn't, didn't know how to do it. And then I, I left the lifestyle and found it again in like 2006. So that's basically how I found it. Megan meets nature. Yes, yeah, Sarah's day. I am going to do Sarah's day. You know, hold on guys. I am I am definitely going to do that, but I'm gathering some information. I'm gathering. Jeff said, I poop five times a day. Well, that might be a little bit too much. It depends on what you're eating. I'm not sure what you're eating. Um, you may have a little bit of an issue there. Um, Jasmine and Joy said, do you recommend having vitamin pills? I do take vitamin B12 myself. I recommend it for the whole entire population because there isn't enough cobalt produced in the soil from modern farming practices. It's been removed from the soil. Wow, look at her abs. Um, it's been removed from the soil and, and that is important in the production of B12. So yeah, so I just want you to know that it is, a, it is important to have B12, but there isn't anything else I have. I just have fruits and veggies. I have lots of papayas and bananas and I have rice and I have potatoes and I have beans and I have greens. So yeah. Um, if you still have acne being vegan, love galore, you definitely got to lower the fat content. Okay. And be consistent on this lifestyle. And you know, if you're having too much fat, it is not going to be good for your pores, especially. Also, you should look at your makeup. If your makeup is clogging your pores and if you're, you know, you're working out and you have got, got a lot of makeup on the sweat can clog up a lot. Okay. Remember that one? Pushing queen, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Europe needs you, Natalie. Oh, hair is hair is okay today. I've got this bamboo brush. It's a little bit yeah, it's a little bit silky today. Yeah. Um, okay. What do you think about mock meat, Beth Kylie? Um, I I mean, I don't say I don't think it's like something that I will ever take fully out of my diet. I will have it occasionally. I don't mind. I don't mind having it occasionally. That's okay. But it's not something that I want to have regularly because it's high. Generally, they're higher in fat, protein, and sodium. So if it's something that you can avoid and you can just up the carbohydrates instead, you're going to be more satisfied after you eat and you're going to feel better and not have all that fat, protein, and sodium. But, you know, don't cut it out altogether. Just have it as like an occasional thing here and there. Um, just seem to ask, how do you stay consistent? Do you mean consistent on what the lifestyle so so easy just you gotta eat foods that leave you like satisfied carbohydrates you know um ava i eat 20 fruits a day i'm eating a mango right now beth said awesome <laughs> mm. <laughs> freely come to spain to visit your fruit bats anna sanchez i'm i'm close to spain one day maybe i will get to spain definitely that's a possibility. Hello from Chicago 520. Shannon McMahon says, cool. Hey, Shannon. Okay. Where do you get your iron from freely? I get my iron from greens. And I mean, like, it's not a problem on this lifestyle. Like there's people who, you know, feel like, oh, veganism is not a good source of um, iron and stuff like that. That's just not true. Okay. You have to increase your absorption and you have to take out things like tannins out of your, your diet, which are in teas, which affect absorption. And you're just going to be on this lifestyle long enough and be eating enough greens basically to like meet your needs and to increase your absorption. That is really, really important. A lot of people actually heal their iron deficiency on this lifestyle. Gunna Jada says, Freely, where is your dog Fixie? She is very, very well looked after. Don't believe the little trolls on the internet who just want to make up stuff so they can get attention. Okay. She's extremely well looked after. I already made a post about this, so I'm not sure why you're asking again. Um, my favorite food is steak. Emily, it's an animal. What are you doing? It's not a food. 
it's no longer it's it's not a food okay it's not like um you know a piece of fruit or something like that it's not like some papaya it's actually an animal so why would you have an animal as your favorite food they're our friends right that doesn't make sense to me hey um trippy trip tw hippie do you ever get overeating so much of the same thing do you ever get overeating so much oh no, I don't. Okay. Because I have it in a nice format. Like I have it in a smoothie and I love it. I have like 10 bananas a day because it makes me feel so good. It makes me feel and look my best that I don't get sick of it. You know, maybe if I had like 30 bananas every single day, I would get sick of it, but I really don't. I really, really enjoy it. And it just gives me the best results. Um, why are you ignoring me? I don't know what your question is. All the questions are a bit are boring. All the other questions. What is your... Okay, I'm just going to answer one more question and then I'm going to head off, guys. What up, gang? Da, 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 are, you still, are you still traveling with that guy? Yes, me and Robin are still together. Very happy, Sarah. Um, <laughs> here he is. Hello. He had it. Say hi. Yes, Robin's here. <laughs> He's still here. I think people think we're not together and I'm just like making out we are. <laughs> we're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing great. Yeah. Very good. Um, 